Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking another look at the pond container, the uh, six quart Tupperware container that we've turned into a uh, wild pond. This is our best attempt at simulating a wild pond type environment. Might look a little messy, but nature would be a little messy. You can see here a confirmation of my uh, suspicion in the previous video we have some tuba flex worms. Keep in mind, I had no signs of these guys before I created this aquarium. It doesn't matter too much where they came from, just that they're here. They're absolutely devouring those uh, wilted dayflower leaves that I threw in there, which is a good sign. Uh, we now have a use for those leaves. We can toss them right in here, feed these worms. But you can see they're forming large clusters and uh, entwining themselves. I don't know if they're doing this to breed or some kind of safety, or maybe there's a chunk of food there or something. Uh, but they also operate as individuals. Occasionally you'll see one moving around, doing something in search of food, or even swimming. They swim in a very creepy way, and they're pretty good at it. They move pretty quickly. So that freaks me out a little bit, I won't lie. Uh, but you should see one up in the top right here in just a moment. Oh, there he is, yeah. You see that crazy movement I'm talking about? That's a little creepy but I'm enjoying these guys. They're nice to have. It's another species to play with and to work into our setups. Uh, anytime I acquire a new species like this, we go out and capture something or accidentally find something like this. Uh, I like to create a couple backup containers in the event that like this aquarium crashes for some reason. We don't want to lose all of them. So redundancy is good. Triple redundancy is better. You know, the chances of all three of your tanks going down at the same time is very low. The uh, pond container here is doing really well. You can see another cluster here and there of the new tuba flex worms. Uh, I overfed this container a great deal. Uh, all I do for these tanks is toss in some cucumber here and there. Uh, I slice the cucumber, I take the skin off, uh, slice it in little chunks, and uh, just continuously rinse it, rinse it again. Rinse it when you skin it, rinse it when you're about to chop it up. Uh, one cucumber is less than a dollar, and it makes for a decent snail food. Worms love it too, apparently. Also, if you grow plants like my dayflower, you can feed them wilted leaves like a little aquatic compost bin, which we tested in previous uh, experiments. But here we have a useful method of doing so. And meanwhile, all of these living creatures here, you might be like asking yourself, why? You know, why would I raise all these worms? Why am I excited about this? Well, first and foremost, they are my pets. I love my snails, my worms, my ostracons. I love all of my little creatures. Uh, I get to come in here like any day of the week and have this beautiful underwater Nat Geo channel at my fingertips like at any time. It's very peaceful and serene and uh, it's fun to learn about this stuff and to, to watch them grow and succeed when you do things well. Uh, secondly, uh, they are fish food. That's right, my fish treat all of my little creatures as live snacks. My mosquito fish, my guppies, uh, the, even the darter and the tetras, they all love live foods. I think it uh, provides some enrichment for their lives, and that's just a personal opinion. Uh, but yes, these small creatures are doubling as fish food, and as pets. But they also serve a third function. They provide fertilizers for my pond plants. You see, in nature, these plants, they wouldn't get uh, crystal nitrogen chemical ammonia crap added to the water in perfect amounts. No, they would uh, consume it from life. And creatures like this actively breeding and living in the water. I'm not a scientist, you know, but my amateur opinion is this is some kind of sludge worm that's simply consuming the food that we throw inside. And I do believe they are adults because they're reproducing pretty heavily. This is Bucket Ponds. Thanks for watching. We have confirmed tubaflex worms right here in the pond jar container uh, inside of our new plant shelf. It's doing great. I'm, I'm happy. Hope you enjoy it. Please like and subscribe uh, if you want to support the channel. That's the best way to do it. 